When it comes to determining which smartphone brand is superior, the iPhone or Samsung, the majority of people already have a firm preference in mind. You have, on the one side, your iPhone fans who have been devoted Apple customers for a number of years. On the other hand, there are admirers of Samsung who simply cannot get enough of the cutting-edge advances that the tech titans have to offer. The question of whether an iPhone or a Samsung mobile device is superior should not, however, be left entirely up to the whims of the typical consumer. Instead, it is necessary to examine the two different options side by side in order to arrive at an educated conclusion. In this video, we will be focusing specifically on this topic. So without further ado, let's dig in. The pricing differential between Samsung's flagship devices and iPhones is one of the most obvious distinctions between the two brands. You could think that iPhones are costly at first glance, even though Apple devotees would disagree with that assessment. This is especially true if you are not familiar with the Apple ecosystem already. Even though Samsung's flagship devices are still very expensive, you can expect to get more value for your money from one of these than from any other brand. And because Samsung offers such a diverse range of smartphone series, you can be confident that there will be a bargain that meets your needs regardless of how much money you have to spend. Most of what makes iPhones worthwhile, on the other hand, is their perfect iOS software experience as well as their tight integration with other Apple products like AirPods and Apple Watch. It's likely that after acquiring an iPhone, you'll want to buy more Apple products to make the most of your new device. In terms of overall camera quality, image uniformity, and video quality, iPhones have received typically more accolades than their Samsung counterparts. However, with the S22 series, and more notably with the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung considerably increased the stakes of the game. Even though Apple's reliability remains a strong suit, the camera experience on Samsung smartphones is far more complex, engaging, and versatile than on Apple handsets. Samsung phones are the ones to opt for if you are someone who enjoys tinkering with their camera and experimenting with new photography functions. If this sounds like you, then look no further. However, if you want your photos and videos to have a more natural appearance and you don't want harsh image processing algorithms to automatically alter them for you, iPhones are a good choice. They do a good job of it. Because of this, they are perfect for professionals who edit their own images and films and place a higher priority on capturing natural colors and having a more reliable camera experience. To put it another way, the variations in the cameras found on iPhones and Samsung phones are more a matter of personal preference than objective indicators for the quality of the images captured. The old adage that iOS was easier to use than Android offered more personalization, which made it rather simple in the past to do a comparison between the two operating systems. Previously, this was where the tale would have ended. Both operating systems have developed throughout the years, which is to be expected given the nature of competition. Yet, many of the older claims continue to be made even to this day. If you are familiar with TouchWiz, an older version of Samsung's user interface, you are aware of how terrible Samsung's software game used to be. This is not surprising, given that Samsung is primarily a hardware firm. However, Samsung's current One UI shell, which is developed on top of Android, provides arguably the smoothest and most streamlined software experience available. On the other hand, iOS is a closed-source operating system, which provides Apple greater control over the experience provided to end-users. This, in turn, enables iOS to have superior memory management, user security, and stability. In addition, because there are fewer iOS devices than Android ones, app developers tend to be better at optimizing their products for the iOS experience. Examples of such companies are Instagram and PUBG. The durability of iPhones, in comparison to that of Samsung phones, is another significant advantage that the former brand enjoys. Despite the fact that Samsung currently guarantees major Android upgrades for its premier and mid-range phones for a period of four years, the lifespan of an iPhone is typically between five and six years. Even said that there is one instance of this rule that deviates significantly from the norm. Due to the fact that lithium-ion is the principal component of the battery found in smartphones, its performance will inevitably diminish over time. If you are considering purchasing an iPhone solely due to the longer OS support, you should be aware that the battery life may suffer, 
and that you may need to purchase a new device in three to four years regardless of your decision. Since the initial introduction of the iPhone 4S in 2011, Siri has served as the voice assistant of choice for Apple's mobile devices, including all the versions of iPhone. On the other hand, Samsung provided an alternative to the already helpful Google Assistant that is pre-installed on Android phones by releasing its own native voice assistant, known as Bixby, in conjunction with the Galaxy S8 series in 2017. While the endeavor was certainly admirable, Bixby wasn't and still isn't a match for Apple Siri and the Google Assistant. However, when it comes to ease of use, the Google Assistant is still the finest voice assistant to use on any smartphone, regardless of whether you use an iPhone, a Samsung phone, or any other brand. This is true regardless of which operating system your phone uses. Apple has very infrequently waged the war on smartphones by making significant promises about their batteries. In contrast, Samsung appears to market its huge battery life and impressively fast charging speeds quite forcefully in its advertisements. However, in spite of the fact that the iPhone lacks a particularly large battery, the company's unique iOS operating system is so power efficient that it guarantees extremely low power consumption which in turn results in incredible battery life, particularly in the iPhone 13 series. The charging speed of iPhones has a long way to go before it can compete with other mobile devices. If you use Apple's MagSafe charger, it can take up to nearly three hours to fully charge the iPhone 13 Pro Max. On the other hand, if you use an unofficial 30-watt charger, you can fill it up in about 90 minutes. The Galaxy S22 Ultra, on the other hand, can be fully charged with the help of the 45-watt Samsung adapter in just under an hour, giving it an option that is better suited for power users or gamers. Unfortunately, none of these firms no longer includes a charger in the box with their flagship products. Finally, when it comes to purchasing a smartphone, choosing between two excellent options typically comes down to a matter of individual preference, 9 times out of 10. And the same is true in this situation. The majority of individuals who purchase iPhones do so because of the fluidity of the user experience and the seamless integration of the Apple ecosystem. The iPhone is more dependable when it comes to fundamental operations like making phone calls, capturing videos, navigating the operating system, and browsing the web. In comparison, Samsung phones are the way to go if you want a template, on top of which you can modify and customize your smartphone and are looking for something that offers a little bit more adventure. Samsung's flagship devices never fail to excite, thanks to their arguably superior designs, expanded feature sets, one UI skins, and exciting and more engaging photography experiences. Well, even if one has a feature that the other one doesn't, both of these smartphones still have a long cheat sheet up their sleeves. So, whether or not which one does its best, they are still unique, amazing and intriguing in their own specific way. And with that said, we have reached the end of today's video. So, whose side do you take, Apple or Samsung? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video so that it encourages us to bring more amazing and interesting videos to you. That said, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.